Okay, guys, welcome to Proper Boxing. I'm Alex. So we uh, continue talking about jabs. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about how your improper jabs or really bad jabs affect your other punches, especially your right hand, obviously your left hook. The punches you can throw like follow-ups. Yeah. So if you got a bad jab, common mistakes again you see it's that lean lean forward on the left side. So you go instead of going really forward nice with tilt which is in the stance videos, please watch it. I go to the left side. I throw it this way. Try to bend to the left. Hips go underneath and everything collapses to the left side. Yeah? From there, the common thing is that guys throw right hand. So it comes over the top this way, left side drops, collapses, and you try to reach by stretching out. So yes, you reach, you hit, yeah, but it's just hand and you're struggling to come back. You probably expose your body. Canelo Alvarez does perfect job by countering that with the left hooks to the body, left semi uppercuts, beautiful shots he's got there. So don't do this mistake. You know, you're gonna be hit uh, like, like bad guys there fighting Alvarez. So do not lean to the left side. It really affects the right side. Topens up the body, you come over the top, not good. Yeah? We really want to have it more on the stacked position forward. I just move forward from that, nice and tall, right on the top. It just came in here. See? Everything is covered pretty much. Right elbow, right hand, everything is covered. But also, from there, I have a really nice position. I'm sort of still standing in my stance. I don't move anywhere with my shoulders. You know? My stance here, the body still maintains the same position. What I did, I just moved closer to my opponent by making a proper step forward. Just come in closer. And I also threw a jab at him. So that's a distraction or landing or opening up. From there, I can easily throw my right. That's a perfect position there. I set up for the right, uppercuts, hooks, so many things I can do that. I'm not sliding. I have my rotation nicely set with the jab. Not coming in and trying to really load up. Again, collapsing. The right hand becomes very difficult to throw. Yeah. Now, how that lean forward again affects the, the left hook again. If I step and lean too much forward, to reach with the left hook, I will have to lean more, even more, and turn and try to reach to the body, it's really hard to do. So we don't want that left side falling and collapsing to the left side. Again, if I come here this way, maintaining my stance and I throw that jab, I can easily follow up with the left hook. My body position doesn't change. Everything stays together. No, I'm not gonna turn all the way to throw it. Not for this punch. That's just a knock, sure. I hit him on the chin, he will feel it. I'm not gonna knock him out or down, but he will feel it. But the most thing, that, that I'm accomplishing that. It's hitting them with the jab and also hitting them with the left hook without losing my balance, without missing, without opening up. So once you have a proper jab, it will set up a lot, a lot more proper punches. We'll talk about hooks and uppercuts and straight rights in the further videos, but work on your jab because it affects your punches, affects your right, affects your cross, your uppercuts, your hooks. It affects many things in your stand. It affects your defenses as well, in fact, right? So you must have that proper jab. You have to come in in that position. Huh? Just to make sure when you come with the jab, you maintain your stance, maintain your shoulders. You don't want to lean, extend, try to reach, cross your legs. It all gets you out of your stance. As your stance is the position number one. From here, from that position, why do you have a stance? Because you can do a lot of things from here. You can slip, pivot, turn right, left. You can throw uppercuts, hooks. You see, you see what I'm talking about? You, you can do many things. If that jab will change that position, you don't have that ability anymore, you lose it. Just because one jab, because of that, oh, I wanna reach and smack. So don't do it. Throw a nice strong jab, generate the power from your legs, from your steps, bringing that body forward. You can still hit, believe me, still hit very hard. But what is not happening there, you're not losing your position. You're still in that nice strong stance when you can step again and follow up with the right or left. You can hit hard and accurate after that. So this is really important. Work on the jab and watch proper boxing videos. Okay, guys, see you around. Take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.